Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Dallas, aka Inferness, and welcome back to another episode of The Ticket Realm. And welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can import custom creations into your Minecraft map. Maybe creations someone else made or something you made, you want to transfer it into another world for some reason. Well, now I'm going to show you how you can do that. All you're going to need is MC Edit, and the new MC Edit is a little bit complicated to use, but once you get the hang of it, importing and exporting things is really easy. So let's go do that. Alrighty, so now that you have MC Edit opened up, uh, this is what it's going to look like. And the first thing you're going to want to do is have the schematic or schematic opened up properly. You're going to want to have it saved in your MC Edit schematics folder. This way you can easily access it in MC Edit. So here it is, select the world that you want. Um, and then once you have it chosen, just click edit and then it should load properly right here in this selection area. All right, so here's the world guys. This is the world I'm going to be using um, to spawn the schematic that I have ready because this schematic is going to be a custom Minecraft creation, not made by me. But this is going to be basically how you import it into the new MC edit and into any Minecraft map available. All right, so first you're going to want to select an area of land that you want to import it in. Uh, by the way, you maneuver by going WASD and then the mouse, you right click to select, or sorry, no, you left click to select and then you you just press right click once to move around so you have free mouse and then click it again so your, your mouse cursor is visible right here. So, in order to import, you're going to want to go to the very left and then you're going to want to go up to the very top tab where it's on the fourth to the right and it's called import slash export. So once you hover over that, there you go, you have these options right here. Go ahead and scroll down to import, and then it should open up your MC Edit schematics folder. I don't have anything in here because I didn't have anything imported, or I don't have anything in this folder yet. So let me just go ahead and drop something into that folder right now. So this is the schematic I'm going to use, and it's in this folder, and it's essentially just a giant building. But once you have your thing in here, it should look like this. It should be a dot schematic file, and then it should have no icon it should just be like this select that press open and then you're gonna have this option right here here's what it's gonna be like so you can get a brief overview of what it's gonna look like in your world so here's the nudge option you can nudge it to the X or you can go to the Y and the Y is up and down I recommend just having it at the bottom unless you're planning on building something underneath it or you can do the X which goes over here either one it doesn't really matter because in this tutorial I'm just gonna be doing some random but I'm going to make sure it's actually on the ground and not sticking under the ground because that might be a problem. As you can see, it's not going to really want to load right now for some reason. I don't know, but usually it's going to load what the actual thing looks like. But then I can see that it's sticking up a little bit. We want it to go down one more this way. Whoops. No, not negative two. Thank you very We want two. All right, that should work perfectly fine. Now, I have no idea what the freak this is. So once you're done, make sure you go ahead and save your work. Otherwise... Guess what? It's not gonna work. And then you you save by pressing control and then plus S. There you go. Now everything's saved, and you're more than welcome to exit out of MC Edit freely. By the way, don't do any of this with Minecraft open. So if you're following this with Minecraft open, you've been doing all this. Unfortunately, you messed up and you have to redo it all from the beginning. So I'm sorry, I guess it's my bad. I should have told you that in the beginning of this video. But you know what? Too late, sorry. So here's the actual world that we used. We're gonna see how it turned out. Alright, so here we go spawned right here and there's the building for some reason it didn't load properly in the actual MC edit client but here's what it looks like as you can see it looks nice and clean and a very good uh, import you can import literally anything as long as you select it properly and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right now alright guys so now I'm gonna be showing you how you can export things out of MC edit so you can maybe implement it into one of your other worlds or maybe share it online and you can have some fun ideas with your creations and share with your friends and family and pets and whatever. So here's how you do it. You basically go up to any creation. This is going to be a very, very small one I'm going to be using for this example. But it could be any size. Essentially what you have to do is you have to take the selection tool. That's the basic tool that you get when you have MC Edit. And uh, you go down to the very bottom. You left click and then you drag it all the way so it's covering the entire thing. Make sure you go ahead and nudge it a little bit if it is not completely selected and you do this by doing that sort of or you can do maybe that I don't know why it went up so high maybe we could just put this down a tiny bit there we go alright so that should be good make sure it's completely selected this way nothing gets left out 
And once you have everything ready, go ahead and go to the very, very top. And then go to export schematic. There you go. And then name it whatever you want. I don't know if I kept saying schematic in this video. It's so hard to just say schematic. It, it sounds like it should be schematic. I'm so sorry, guys. That is how you import and export things into your Minecraft map with MC Edit. Yeah, this MC Edit can be a little bit complicated. And I know a lot of people like the older version a lot better. But I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy and if this did help you, make sure you just go ahead, take a jackhammer, and then just put your... Uh, I don't know, iPad, computer, and whatnot on the street, and t take that jackhammer and jackhammer that like button. And then, uh, yeah, if you feel free to subscribe, go ahead and do that as well. And then I'll see every one of you guys in the next one. Goodbye.